Welcome to Tennessee All Pro Fans. I'd like to bring you to another edition of Shooting Straight with the Bow. And actually, this week I have a different guest, the new tag team champion, Mr. Red Curtis. How you doing this week, champ? Doing good. How about you, man? Doing pretty good. This past Saturday, December the 12th, first off, I'd like to issue a public apology. Now, I wasn't at the show this past Saturday. I was dealing with some personal issues. But those issues have been resolved, and I promise this Saturday, December the 19th, I will be there to call the action and ring announce for all my fans at Tennessee All-Pro. But uh, I heard to start off the show this past Saturday, I wasn't there. They actually debuted a new Tennessee All-Pro Southern Heavyweight Championship belt. And I know Gregory had to be been happy about that. He had to be happy about having his new pretty belt, and yeah. I bet he was showing it off to everybody. I mean, I know he's probably showing it off to the boys in the back, probably yep. saying how he's better than everybody else because he got he has the belt. Yeah. But we also had the finals of the tag title tournament. You and your partner, Dangerous James Black, defeated Pineapple Express in the finals to become the new Tennessee All-Pro Tag Team Champions. That's right. So how does it feel to have your first championship here at Tennessee All-Pro? Oh, man, it feels great, man. I've never been more excited in my life. I mean, I, it's so exciting to me, I, I broke down in tears. And then also this Saturday, we were supposed to have the NWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, Jeremiah Plunkett. But due to issues beyond his control, the transmission on his car had messed up, and he wasn't able to make it to the show. Yeah. So Gregory ended up defending his new belt against Corey Prince. And from what I'm hearing, Corey Prince is the new Tennessee All Pro Southern Heavyweight Champion. That's right. I bet I bet Gregory was mad. I wish I had actually showed up at this show this past Saturday to see look on Gregory's face when he lost his heavyweight title. Hey, it ain't shut up Scotty no more, is it? No, it probably shut up Gregory since somebody else has got your title now. But Corey Prince winning the heavyweight title, I mean, I, I, I said from day one in this company, I said, I see something in this kid. Oh, yeah. I said, he's going to be the top dog before long, and he proved it this past Saturday when he defeated Gregory McDaniel and took his belt away. Yeah. Now, this coming Saturday, December the 19th, is going to be the fourth anniversary show. Tennessee All-Pro turns four this, this coming Saturday. The main event, due to actions of Gregory this past Saturday after the match, using the fork on Corey Prince after the match, they're going to have a fork on a pole match for the Tennessee All-Pro Southern Heavyweight Championship. What's your thought on this? My thought, I do believe Corey Prince. He's going to come out strong. He's going to come out still the Tennessee All-Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Gregory McDaniel, you're going to get forked, buddy. Well, it looks like somebody else is going to fork him up besides Gregory this Saturday. Also, you're going to be, with your tag team partner, going to be defending your new tag titles against Pineapple Express in a tag title Texas Stampede match. Yeah. Can you kind of give us the details of what this is going to be? Texas Stampede match. It's anything goes. No disqualifications, falls count anywhere. You use any type of weapon you want. So basically what you're saying is the match could go from the ring to the crowd to the parking lot. It could go down to the Ford dealership and you could be wrestling yep. on somebody's brand new car. That's right. Just don't bust the windshield because we don't have that type of insurance. But... This match could go anywhere. You could end up in freaking Manchester. Yeah. But also this Saturday, Kevin James Weatherby is going to be taking on Brent Powers. Now, from what I hear, these two had pretty good scuffle this past Saturday, and they're looking to try to settle the score this coming Saturday on December the 19th. Yeah. Also, Perfection Unlimited is going to be taking on the Monsters of Mayhem. Now, from what I'm hearing... From through the grapevine is these two teams tore the house down this past Saturday. Oh, yeah. After the match, it was a double DQ. I'm surprised that the building is even still standing, especially with PS911, Ron Davis, Hammerjack, 
Tim Jernigan. I've seen Tim Jernigan get crazy outside the ring before. Yep. I mean, he's put people almost through the wall in this building on our first night here. He put me almost through the ring. I, he fractured your vertebrae. It yes, put he you. Did. It put you out for six weeks. Yes, it did. Well, also making his return this sa this Saturday is going to be Little Mexico. Evidently, he's not deported anymore. The charge has been dropped for those illegal tamales that everybody was talking about on Facebook. He's coming back. He's going to be taking on Cal Redmond. Now, these two, they're little, but they're fast. It's like two tennis balls just going back and forth in the ring. I mean, it, it, you can't catch them. No. And then also, we're going to have the real freaks, Draven Lee, Robert Z. Real, taking on the Destruction Crew. The big man, Super Destroyer, and the little man, Anthony Wayne. So, what's your thought on these two teams? Well, I think real freaks. They're going to they're gonna take this one. They're going to take it home. So, you're saying you're putting your money on the real freaks this Saturday? Absolutely. You got Draven Lee in there, athletic. Well, I don't know that Super Destroyer. I mean, every Saturday that I'm in there and I do the intros, he backs me up in that corner, and I don't know what to do because I don't know what's behind that mask. True. It could be the devil. It could just be some ugly dude, or he just could be not wanting his family to know how mean of a guy he actually is. Now, Super Destroyer, he is a big man, very big man. But you know what? It's like the saying goes, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Right. So... And if you want to see all these matches, be here at 5542 Manchester Highway in the Victory Center. It's Tennessee All-Pro Wrestling, six bucks to get in. Be there.